It has been such a long time since I made one of these little flip books. So I actually had this sitting in my box of projects that weren't finished from Valentine's last year. And as you can see, it's really simple. It is a 12 by 12 paper cut down to 12 by 4. And then I've scored at every three inches. And then you can see how I've sort of folded it in on itself to create that flip book structure. I already have some paper on the back, some pretty paper and my little made by sticker. And so I'm going ahead and adding on a front cover as well. I did actually find a bunch of papers that were pre-cut to the right size. So I presume when I made this last year, I did choose some of my papers. I just didn't get a chance to put it all together. So I've added some stitching on that really pretty cactus paper. That one is from, it's a printable, um, I think it's Heart Day and I have the digital collection. So I printed a bunch of these papers and you can see here, these are all the ones that I found that were cut to the right size. That little one with the different faces on the little hearts is my absolute favorite. Um, I would put that paper on absolutely everything if I could. So I decided not to stitch all of these pages because I wanted to keep this very flat. Just because of the way that the flip book folds together, it needs to be flat, otherwise it won't close. I think actually this might be a prototype for one that I made last year that I changed to add sort of more of a, a bit of a thicker, um, what's the word? I gave it a bit more of like a, a gusset, I guess is what you would call it. Um, so that when it folded, I had more room for embellishments and things. If I can find the video, I will link it for you. But I thought this would make a great little flat mail. So I actually used some zigzag scissors to go across there and turned that little piece of extra paper into a pocket because I didn't have one that was the right length. I really wanted to use that pink triangle paper. So I added more of the cactus one to make that little pocket. More papers going on the back here. This one is a printable. And then I added some hearts with a stencil. This cupcake one is another one of my favorites from the printable collection. And I'm literally just sticking these on with some double-sided tape, super quick and simple. And you can see it folds up nicely there. I wanted to add some kind of closure and I settled on sort of um, an elastic. I will show you what I mean. So I poked a hole in the paper at the back there, added a brad, adding some more tape to stick that edge down. Lucky I hadn't added much tape on it the first time so I could peel it up. This one I had added a lot of tape. So I do just poke the brad the whole way through and then I cover it on the page when I'm decorating. This little button is from Buttons Galore and More. This is their romance subscription box and they actually offer $10 international shipping, which is incredible. So I will have a link in the description for them. And I do have a code which is sub five and you will get $5 off of your first box. I do love a discount code. So once I've added the second brad through the front there, I'm going to tie a little piece of this thin elastic so that I will be able to use it um, like a loop closure. I'm sorry, I've got no idea what this is called. I've seen people use it, but I have no idea what it's actually named. So I'm double tying a knot there and then just sort of tucking that under the brad at the back, snipping off the excess elastic tucking it all under that brad and then it will just fold round to the front and go round that brad. Now I did glue this button onto that brad and um, I cut the sort of button loop off of the back but it didn't stay very well so I found this brad that had the little sticker that I just showed you and I pulled that off and that flatter surface made it much easier to stick the heart button on so that's what I ended up doing. While I was messing about with that, I did grab out all of my other printed ephemera bits. Again, this is Heart Day. It's a bunch of stuff that I printed last year. So I just layered some of the tickets and tags on the front there. Then I pulled out a bunch of these gems again from the Buttons Galore and More Romance box. 
books. I liked those on the front there, so I sort of put out where they would be and then put them out of the way until I added some more bits to the front because I felt like it needed something else. When I'm filming, I will sometimes turn off the camera while I stitch or um, do something that's taking a long time, like peel up the backing on adhesive and stuff. And I have to remember to turn it back on because I get sidetracked. So I've already added these layering pieces and stuck them down and then thought, oh, I need to turn the camera back on. So I apologise that we sort of skipped past that piece. I added this rainbow from the Doodlebug Lots of Love collection and that little yellow heart from Bramble Fox. Again, I got carried away while the camera was off, so I'm sorry you didn't see me stick those down, but I just used hot glue to add those on there. Then we are moving on to the inside. So I always struggle with how many pages to decorate and how many to add goodies onto. Um, so I just sort of did a mix of both for this one. This is a little pouch of things that I had in my Valentine stash. So I thought I'd share some of those stickers, cut those in half so they would fit in that pocket. I did that little tag with the sunglasses, I thought it looked nice peeking out of the pocket. Grabbed these few bits from this little container. These are all of my different printed ephemera from, I think it's mostly Heart Day. Um, there might be some other collections in there as well. And they're just bits that I've printed and cut out previously. I'm just trying to use up as much of it as possible. So I did consider this little panda, but he didn't really fit the colour scheme. I think the bright pink on there was a bit too bright. Layering up these tags, punching the hole there, and then covering little fake staples with real staples, which I think is a nice detail. Adding some foam tape on the back here and sticking that down onto that page. I think we forget that sometimes the pages can be really simple. I always get stuck trying to add more and more and more layers and more um, stitching and charms and all that sort of stuff. But actually that page with the two tags turns out to be one of my favourites and there are so few elements on it. I have added some stitching to this one on the far left. So I have this scrap piece of paper and I've just stitched a bunch of wonky lines on it. And I'm using that to cover up that brad that came through from the front cover. There we go. And that gives me a bit of a base for my embellishment cluster as well. I wanted to include one of these post box embellishments. I do have a video making those if you're interested, so I will link that for you. But it was too thick. Again, trying to keep this flat so that it will close um, meant that I couldn't use that one. So I end up putting some really simple or heart embellishments there instead. I've stapled that Your Cute Cactus piece to some vellum. Found this little scrap of paper. I do find that paper scraps are great for layering in little projects like this. I use a staple and then I cut off the piece of paper that you won't see because it's behind that previous one. I am terrible for keeping tiny scraps of paper. So I kept hold of that one for a future project. I did one of my favourite little hearts. They really make me smile. I don't know if it's the faces or what, but they really make me smile, those ones. Using some of these word stickers, I think they were from Heart Day. Um, that one says Heart Day, <laughs> which makes me think I might be correct, but I'm not sure. It's one of the old crepe paper collections. Then added that little heart on a word strip to the far left. You can see that peeking out there. These little scallop hearts, I think I cut out for a different project and they were too small because I have a bunch of them in this little scrap paper thing. So I added two of them on there with the intention to turn them into little embellishments that my recipient can use. This little banner piece, I added some stitching, just tucking the loose ends behind there. Adding some foam tape onto the back. Oh, no, not foam tape. See, I would definitely use foam tape on any other project, <laughs> but I'm trying to keep this flat and I actually really struggled with that. So. That one is normal tape, normal double-sided tape, not foam tape. A little puffy heart. They were, where were they from last year? 
Um, the ones with the X's and the O's and the puffy hearts. I can't remember the name of the collection. I can picture it in my mind, but I can't remember the name. I'm really sorry about that. Added more of those puffy hearts to the little scalloped hearts on the inside. Looking at adding some more of these little gems. I love them. They're so pretty. All different sizes as well, which I really like. I did add some clear little gems here. These ones are from the range. And then I mixed those with some of the bigger ones from Buttons Galore. Using all of the colours there. In fact, it looks like I didn't add any of that yellow on the inside, which is unusual. Usually I would have added the same colours throughout, but um, it's very red and pink inside. Adding gems to each of these. I just sort of work the front, the back, everywhere. <laughs> I don't do one page at a time as such. I just sort of move to whatever, whatever page I have inspiration for. Some gems on the back here. These little stamped words are from some Happy Mail. I'm sorry I cannot remember who they're from, but they are fantastic for this. So I grabbed a couple of these. I think they're all hashtags um, and added them onto the scalloped hearts. Cut a little banner end in that one. And I thought they made really simple little embellishments that you could use for all sorts. You could definitely add more sort of pretty things to each of the hearts um, or stick them on anything. So I thought they were quite a nice thing to include and they're quite flat, which perfect, absolute bonus for this kind of project. And here is our little book. So this is the front, that's the closure that I chose. Um, and then it folds open to the two pages, open to the four. And then you can look at the two on the back. Do I open up to show you? Yes, I do. Show you the whole thing. And then it folds up nice and flat. So I hope you have enjoyed making some old school flat mail with me. And I will be back again to craft with you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.